closes the gate. And away they go. Good idea. Six off the left-hand side's right there looking for an early position. Billy Boy Blues, Red Sail in the sunset. Spinner Coin, Sensei, Autopilot, a line of five darting into that first turn. And then there's two lengths away to Billy Boy Blues, two lengths Discourse, and a further three lengths back to the rest of them. So there's a four-way battle going towards the 1,400-meter mark, and just look at this, a race of their own in front, Red Sail in the Sunset. Good idea, Spinner Coin and Sensei, the first four, Autopilot's along the inside, and eventually, good idea, he's used up a bit of petrol, he's used up some energy, but he finds the lead. Sensei now second, Red Sail in the Sunset, they're now sorted out into pecking order. Spinner Coin and Autopilots in orange back in fifth. Billy Boy Blues to the inside. Victory Emblem. Royal Colors, Battle Hammer, Modern Royal Discourse and Electric Jet is the trailer and there's nine lengths top to tail. 900 ago and Good Idea just steadies the ship in front by a length. Sensei's right there second. Red Sail in the sunset. Spinner Coin had to get taken out for a stride or two onto the hills of Sensei. Autopilot, Battle Hammer gets a bit closer, Victory Emblems between them. Modern Royal gets a taste of the bit, six lengths off them. At this stage, Royal Colors just being sat on. For the first time now gets a little bit of encouragement just to creep a length closer. Billy Boy Blues has it all to do from there, seven, eight to make up. Electric Jet and then comes Discourse. Sensei now tackles at the top of the lane. Good idea comes under pressure. Victory Emblem's looking for a way through. Spinner Coin and Royal Colors is now starting up his engine to the inside. Battle Hammer in the meantime picks it up. Royal Colors on the inside. Electric Jet. Victory Emblem gets going, but Royal Colors, a confident ride, 150 to go. Battle Hammer and Victory Emblem, but Royal Colors picked up the gallop and he's seeing off his rivals. Victory Emblem, Battle Hammer second and third. Battle Hammer second. Victory Emblem third and Modern Royal. Then came Electric Jet, Royal Colors. He burst through at the 300, traveling so well, and he found more to register another victory. Well done to Roy Mudley, Paul Gadsby, and once again, Sean Cormack has brought home the winner. Yeah, you can see Royal Colors, number four on the card. He moved up effortlessly coming to the 300. And we've heard from the riders before, he's got the ability, but he just tends to, to give it up a little bit late on. And as you can see there, he's just doing enough for the victory. Probably a little bit more left in the tank. Had he given his all, he probably would have won a length and a half. But he wins it from Battle Hammer second. Victory Emblem, he was looking for some room at the three and 400. He comes through. Then came Modern Royal Electric Jet. Discourse, Spinner Coin, and further back, Billy Boy Blues. And as for those runners who had that battle up front, they just faded away tamely. Well, there you can see three off the left, Royal Colors and the body language of Sean Cormack. Very confident at that stage. He now sweeps into the lead. Victory Emblem's closest to him and towards the outside, Battle Hammer. But Royal Colors, now Sean Cormack, he gets serious and he's asked Simple Maximum late on. You can see he doesn't take his hands off the reins there. He keeps both hands on the reins with the whip in the right hand, just flicking him about to try and keep him as straight as possible. And he responds today. So Royal Colors, he fights on courageously. Battle Hammer's trying to stay on Victory Emblems between runners. But as they go down to the winning post, Royal Colors, he will round off the hat-trick here. So he certainly gained his confidence from winning the Maiden. He then won a Meritorated 67, now a 73. And let's see if he can go on to go for a four-timer next time out. Been a tremendous day's racing on the poly track at Gra Well, a fantastic end to our race meeting on this Sunday at Gravel for owner Roy Moodley. Trainer Paul Gatsby and of course jockey Sean Cormack has had a, a wonderful afternoon's racing uh, today uh, at Gravel and this time it is number four Royal Colors that's come through to close off the pick six here. Four, ten, seven and six. That was your provisional result and Royal Colors has now made it three on the trot. I think we'll first have a chat with jockey Sean Cormack before we chat to Paul and of course Roy. Compliments on a very successful day, uh, Shawnee. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, as I say, uh, you know, thanks obviously to my yard and uh, thanks to Paulie. You know, he uh, obviously due to Stewie's ill health, which we obviously all hope that he's recovering uh, well from it. Um, and our thoughts are with him and, and obviously his family. But uh, he opted to put me on the horse and I was very grateful. And then this horse uh, 
as I said to you, I was landed with the baby last time and uh, I benefited because now he's come out and he's won another one. So, uh, you know, just full marks to him. He brought these horses uh, very well today and they've come out with the goods. Amazing, you know, we chatted last time out, maybe he's a horse that can grow in confidence, but you seem to have developed a nice relationship with him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty straightforward, you know. Today he didn't have the gate speed he did last time. They w I thought they went very quick, the first three, four hundred. And, uh, and I just left him alone. I didn't bustle him and then slowly got into the race. And then he started to tack on a little bit and uh, my reins were slipping quite badly and I was just battling in a few areas of the race. Um, and, uh, and as I say, and then I just had to, you know, ma make the best adjustments and uh, work my way through. And I held him together as much as I could. And uh, I saw Donovan on the outside and I obviously had to run him down. And when I got there, obviously looked to stop a little bit. But uh, when he heard them coming again, he pressed on. So maybe he's learning how to race too, this horse. Tony, before you leave us, I mean, just an observation watching the races today. Middle to outside seem to be the better going. Um, any talk in the jockey room about that? Oh, listen, uh, I think it was Anton, Anton won earlier, down the, uh, earlier in the day. I think he won flush up on the inside. They've won up the middle and they've won three quarters of the way and right on the outside. I, I still believe that this track is, uh, is very, very fair. I think horses have won from everywhere on the course today. And, uh, and I think that's how racing's gonna be. Um, I, listen, it's my own opinion that I think during the course of a meeting that the inside does obviously get a little bit more ruffled. Therefore, maybe one, two off, you know, might give you an edge, you know, but I don't think it's gonna be extremities. I think uh, you saw Kevin Shea early on in the day. Obviously, he was on a decent horse, but I mean, he, he did, he was in, on, on different ground the whole way. He came right up flush on the outside and won very comfortably. Um, and, and they've won from everywhere. They've won from everywhere on the track, and they've won from everywhere in a race. So I think it's a very, very fair surface. And, uh, you know, obviously when we were getting a bit of rain yesterday, you know, I thought maybe we'll get a little bit more and it'll, it'll just test exactly what this track is capable of. We all know what it is. It's capable of handling a lot of rain. And uh, the day that that does happen, everybody's going to see that this was money well, well worth spent. Well, it's just feedback like that that I'm sure the authorities are looking forward, uh, are looking to, uh, uh, you know, forward to uh, improve the surface, uh, if I want to put it that way. But thanks for the feedback, Sean, and a wonderful day for you. Uh, keep up the great work and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the connections involved who I rode for today. And obviously to my sponsor, Highlands, they had another great sale selling some really expensive horses and some, some good quality horses. And uh, just full marks to them. I've just signed a new contract with them. So thanks to Mark Sharkey and uh, Kim Riddle. Thank you very much to them and obviously to Highlands themselves. Thank you. Great stuff. Sean Cormack. Let's get Paul Gatsby in. What a wonderful day it's turned out to be for uh, one of the smaller yards in KZN. Paul doesn't have many horses, but uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a boxer. When you get into the ring with Paul, he's going to deliver. And you, you delivered smartly today for Roy. Yeah, Jeez, thanks very much. Once again, thanks to Roy and his whole family for supporting us. And at the same time, thanks to all of our owners for the loyalty they've showed. We buy quite big horses, as I mentioned before, and they take a long time to come to hand. Some of them only when they're four and five years old. So you've got to have endless patience. But as you can see now, it pays off this Royal Colours. It's won three in a row now. Um, he was touted earlier on to be a bit of a brass. And, you know, when Dalpesh won on him, he said to me, I really thought I was going to win by 20 lengths and um, without exaggerating and so it showed that we you know the horse did have the ability and now he's bringing it through well you you gave it to us earlier on when i chatted to you and i passed this uh, on uh, over to the public that you like both your horses in the back you were spot on with your assessment and uh, long may this good run continue your stables looking in good form paul nice end to the weekend yeah geez, thanks for that and yeah I, and i said to roy as, and yourself earlier you know take the e-trade double it's hard to be bullish that they you know good things and that first time on the poly etc and i'm glad it paid off fantastic thanks a lot lovely roy mudley up next fresh off his award ceremony the equus awards uh with paul lafferty and uh I really like the way you've spread your wings and you're getting the results with respective yards in the province now, uh, Roy. Thanks, Diz. You know, I just told Paul just now, you know, he should have rather did the uh, interview before, you know, when so, I won so the eighth race. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> and uh, I think uh, Paul Gatsby, it's not Paul Lefty now. Paul Gatsby, I think he did a good uh, job on the horse. And he gave her the confidence. And I think he told you also yes. during the course of the day that must take the double. And uh, I think if you took the double, it should be not less than 100 to 1 because it was a good price 
in the morning and uh, even until it uh, ran. But coming back to the horse, I think uh, it's a good horse. You know the, the mother, uh, Ruby Winter? Yes. He couldn't run a place yes. by uh, Western Winter. We tried it and we bought that in the select sale and it couldn't even run a place. But uh, good for it now as he is performing and he's uh, throwing up some good uh, falls. And uh, look at this now, three-time winner. And, and it's good. And uh, also thanks to uh, Gordon, I think my manager, I think he's a good job. I think he's going and talking to the trainers and giving them some confidence. If you don't sh uh, ship up, you must ship out, you know? So, 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 yeah. so, so. So I think it's working because uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's no good if you have uh, too many horses and you cannot manage them. And uh, all in all, I think, uh, let's see how it goes from here. Yeah, you know, you, you seem to now have a uh, direction about uh, the way you want uh, uh, your uh, hobby uh, to be going. Uh, that's the, the, the horse racing business. Yes, uh, you know, if you just depend on one trainer, then you don't know how the other trainers can perform. Although that I believe in the ability of the horse, there should be some input on the trainer also. If the trainer doesn't feed it well and don't groom that thing, so he's not going to perform. But uh, let's see, I think uh, Paul so far, he's been the doing well for me. Well, both the Pauls, well, you can see Harry's son, we won the Equus Award. Yes. And uh, Paul Lefty and Paul Gatsby, I think is well done for them. And you just told me that you bought nicely at the sales recently over the last week or so? Yeah, I bought some uh, nice horses and I think uh, with the guidance of uh, Paul Lefty, uh, we got some good uh, discern and uh, Paul, even without asking me, he just sends it to the stable, you know, he said, no, that he must go to his stable. Yes. So I didn't have any choice in that. The, he just takes, takes, you know. Sure, sure. He's earned it, he's earned it, though, Peroy. I think he ended it with Harry son, but, uh, but he's a good trainer. Let's, let's not take it away from him, you know. He's a good trainer, but, you know, to win the two-year-old Equus Award, that talks for itself, you know. So, so you put your weight behind a few trainers now. Roy, what a nice end to the weekend. And to yourself and your family, well done, well played. Thank you, Diz. Well done to you also. Fantastic. Roy Moodley there closing off the meeting with number four, Royal Colors, and a double Roy's Jet onto Royal Colors. Four, ten, seven, and six, your provisional result race number nine. A big thank you to Paul Lafferty, Sheldon Peters doing upstairs uh, commentary, Raymond Rogers and his team, and of course, Denver, who assisted him in the OB Bank, and let's not forget the hardest working cameraman uh, on course, Zane. And from myself, Dees Dianan, until we meet again, take care. Salani Gashleh.